If you're struggling to take your fairway woods past your playing partners right now, then continue watching this video as PJ professional Graham and I will be diving into the faults we see most common players make with their woods, along with a very simple move any golfer can do to hit these woods nice and high with way more distance. So let's jump right into it. Great shot. So again, let's talk about players that struggle with getting the launch, get the height, get the distance with their fairway woods. Yeah. What's, what's the first thing that you would look at to make the change and help them with that issue? So a lot of the time I'm looking with a fairway wood. The key if the ball is on the floor, we've said this before, you want to yeah. be hitting slightly down on the ball, ever so slightly. Let's say one degree. Yeah. Okay. Or zero we can get away with. So if we want to launch it, then it's about, first of all, check ball position okay you know we want to have it probably you know we're not as far forward as driver are we no you know we're probably, probably more half a ball a ball yeah. behind driver yeah. an inch or two inside or two balls let's say a ball just inside the left heel yeah the issue i see often is that people aren't presenting enough loft to the golf ball in order to launch it at the correct height so how do you take loft off a golf club you increase an angle of attack Okay, and that's de-lofting it. So you might be someone who comes over the top of it. Yeah. You might be someone who has the ball too far back in the stance. Okay. So, so what would, would ideal? Yeah. So there go all those factors are going to decrease the angle that we present. Yeah. Okay. Our launch, our dynamic loft, if you like, is going to go from let's say 15 degrees. If it's coming in at this angle, then it will present in 15. If it's coming in here. Then more. we're presenting less loft, so we're going to create what 15 might be eight or nine degrees. Sorry, yeah, yeah, on yeah. the down motion. So we're hitting on the down. Now, we want to feel like we're sweeping it. A lot of people say feel like you're sweeping it off the top. But the problem with that is that often it'll tend people to fall back onto the right side. And then the low point, the bottom of the arc, becomes here. And then you'll catch it heavy, thin the ball. Okay. So we need an angle of attack, but it's a key, again... We keep talking about this, but how the body moves. Yeah. So a great drill to get the launch. We're presuming that most are going to be slightly over yeah. and getting too steep on it. So the drill we've had you doing is club out in front, holding the left arm, and then we make a you know hand out turn, and I want you to feel that that returns back and under. Yeah. So no one's. I don't see anyone when we do this drill. Is the head's getting ahead yeah. of the ball, you physically can't. Yeah, so just like, because that's yeah. stopping you, isn't it? So it's creating the, the correct motion. Yeah. And the, your arm there feels like it's working. If you take that up to the top yeah. again, it's going to feel like you're tracing a line that's more behind you than yeah. it is the, the poor move or the one we see is then more out in front. And then yeah. hits the other arm or goes exactly. over it. Yeah. So it's a great drill to get you to the feel one, to feel the, the crunch, the side bend a little bit more on your right side and the yeah. stretch, the extension of the left side. Great. So from there, from, as soon as I make my way down, I'm obviously not stalling the lower body. I'm still allowing it to rotate, yeah. aren't I? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily towards the target, but towards the wall behind yeah. me here just to create the room. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So other ways you can do that. Again, club across your chest. Okay, and just to keep it simple, I want you to make a turn, okay, and I want you to feel, you can either feel this right shoulder is down or left shoulder up. We're both going to work the same way. So, so all, well, yes, think about both, couldn't I yeah. go that way, yeah. So the more you feel the left shoulder goes up, the more you're going to feel that in the side, the more stretch you're going yeah. to feel in the left side. So, you know, one of the best three-wood players, I think is probably Garcia, from what I heard, and you watch him and he takes a slight divot, even when the ball's on the tee. So good fairway wood players are hitting it slightly on the downswing. Okay, different story if it's on a tee, we might want to hit up on it, yeah. some of us, but the majority are going to tee it low and try and get that. But we've got, there's an optimal obviously, but too much of this move over the top is going to create problems. Yeah. So a lot of golfers, they would obviously do that over the top move and then, uh, you know, they probably see the playing partners will mm. tell them, right, well, you're going to yeah, over yeah. the top, try and get on the inside. And like you mentioned before, you briefly described that when, when people try and get it more under, they end up going this way, don't they? And try yeah. and sweep the ball, like you mentioned, yeah. but then they get too much this way. Yeah. So for someone that's doing 
that motion, would you say this would be a good drill as well? Because yeah, and that, that's where I'd be over. feeling, you know, the, the opposite would be to feel, do you take again, turn. Yep. Okay, so the opposite move is to feel that right shoulder is a little bit lower. So, or sort of, sorry, a little bit higher, isn't it? Yep. So we change that angle. So we're moving more to cover the ball. Yep. So from the top, I'm feeling my right shoulder is working higher, if you like. Yeah. Isn't it? Rather than under underneath. Yeah. So that if you two, if you hit pushes, hooks, fats, and thin, then generally I would expect it to be more that way. Left, right shoulder works down too much, and then all you can do is flip the hands over. So for me, who's guilty of that, I like to feel I'm covering the ball on my chest is working more to point down to the ground in front of me. So there, yep. you can do it with your hand as well, that same feel would be here, as opposed to here, where my chest is pointing more towards you or away from the golf ball. And if, and if someone's finding that they may struggle with a bit of both and trying to find that middle ground, is there any other drills that we could look into bringing in to help that type of player, or would it just be the same two and just rehearsing those? Again, it's, it's hard to say that you are, you know, the ideal is that we're working around our spine and trying to keep that constant, but that's always changing slightly. I might be trying to hit the draw, so I'm going to be more this way. Yeah. Okay. The two extremes of a golf swing are, you know, someone who's very much this way and someone who's very much that, that way. way. We're always right. somewhere in between, someone at the extremes, but can that drill's great, you know, because it gives you the right feel. I'm not trying to exaggerate it because I'll hit the club. Yeah. I'm not trying to, I'll hit the club. So the ideal is to feel it works underneath, underneath to there. Don't and need I, you going any further than that. Yeah, no and injuries. I can see, sorry, I can see there when you're doing that with the club there, you're really almost getting your, your trail arm to squeeze underneath. Yes. Just to really exaggerate it. Isn't yeah, because yeah. I, I always feel that, that my right hand is mirroring the club. That's how I hold the club. So there, I can imagine that is the, you know, holding a golf club, that's the club face. Okay. Yeah. So I'm trying to deliver that back here and then there's going to be a release through the shot and then I will release. Yeah. But for the purpose of the drill here, work that way. And I can see you keeping your hand there, your right palm very almost passive on the way through as you're doing that as opposed to almost letting the hand yeah. flip over. Well, again, I, I'm, without going too much, I like to keep the club a little bit stronger. That's the modern way. I've always done that, so I'm feeling like that and that. But the, as long as I'm turning my body, I can keep that angle. As yeah. soon as I stop turning, then the hands go. Then that's to... when you run into trouble, yeah. and the hands will over release or whatever. You can do all sorts. I want to give a quick shout out to GX Golf. They provide high quality golf gloves for a fraction of the price in comparison to the rest on the market at the moment. I've been using these gloves now for the last couple of months, really impressed with the quality. And I would highly recommend giving these a try using my discount code below as well, Harry10. You can get yourself a great 10% discount on their great bundle packages of three, six, or nine gloves. So make sure you go ahead and check them out. Link will be in the description below. Okay, so let's give that drill a try now. And so all I'm doing here, and it's, this, is, this is a great drill, not just for the wards, the irons as well, just to help yeah. with getting the low point correct of anything, isn't it? Yeah, but, absolutely. It's moving your body the right way. Yeah. Yeah. So there. And then, well, I was just going to here, wasn't I? So I really want to yeah, squeeze that's plenty, there. Yeah. 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 Just to really exaggerate that feel. Okay. So we're going to launch right. one. So let's, yeah, let's launch one. First hole at Pinehurst. Let's see. That was a nice hit. Still a little bit fady. Harsh, that. Bit of a heel strike, wasn't it? Yeah, that's, yeah, good point. Was a bit of a heel strike. So... For me, having that heel strike, what, what, is there anything that I could do with that drill to help me change that and improve yeah. the strike? So there's, there's a couple of reasons you, you, you miss your, your head, you're striking it more towards the heel. And often that's, that, that's the club going further away so from you. Club okay. going further away like yeah. that. So I'm yeah. going to get more of a heel strike. If the club's coming closer to you, then you're going to get more, the generally toe. more of a toe strike. Okay, it can be the fact that the face was a little bit open. There's all sorts of reasons for heel strikes. Yeah. Weight distribution, are you a little bit more on the toes? Then everything's going to go 
further forward. away from you. Yeah. So if you're someone who's that way, we're going to see a lot of pulls and heel strikes. Okay. So it's, again, I'd refer back to head position, trying to stay. Oh. And if I said to you, right, feel a little bit more for this shot, that your weight is, as you swing, it's settling in your heels a in little bit heels. more. Yeah. Then hopefully you're going to feel a little bit more. Okay. So a bit more, strike. bit more on my heels, same swing, same feeling. Yeah, that was definitely better. And you can just see for just from the difference in the flight as well. Definitely. Fabulous shot, that mate. Really good. Yeah, that's a really good shot. So I'm guessing for, for a player that's suffering with that toe strike, then they want to almost try and maybe feel a touch to the opposite. Yeah. Going on to the toes. But again, the danger is if you do that too much, you you're going to end much. up falling yeah, over, aren't you? Yeah. It's a balance. And the weight, the pressure or weight is always moving around in your feet. So it might in the balls of my feet here, and then it's more into the heel of my right leg. Yeah. And then it's gonna shift into the toes of my right foot, Yeah. left foot, and then I'm pushing back into the heel. But often I'll see players who, you know, get into that left side, but they, they're almost, almost falling yeah. that way. And you see them losing the balance because the weight isn't moving back, back into the, the heels. <clears throat> so it's almost like, for, for those of you who are struggling with that almost toe strike and have to go a bit more forward, it's almost, Right, well, on the downswing, feel the pressure in the heel, then towards yeah. the toes, then back on the heel to finish. Yeah. Yes. In a way, and just make a couple of slow swings like that to heel, toe, heel yeah. on the way through, just to improve that. Right, let's hit one more shot. A little bit underneath that one. So would you say that one, maybe the low point was a little bit too far back? Yeah. No, just definitely. because I got a bit underneath it. <coughs> Slight so, drop kick. How would you how would you hit that one then to, to save <coughs> to save someone from drop kicking it like I've just done? So <coughs> to, to avoid so the one that's catch the, the low point issue behind the ball. It's we're gonna going to see way. this feel. So we're gonna see the drop a little bit back onto the right side, and then the bottom of the arc is going to be behind the ball. And generally yeah. you're gonna hit a push and a hook with that one. So again, it's, it's feeling, you know, we're almost going to opposite. So the opposite feel is, is there to exaggerate, isn't it? Yeah. You know, and that was probably sounded a little bit more of a toe strike. Yeah. As you hit that one. So it's, it's getting feeling I'm more trapping the ball. Don't be afraid of hitting, you know, hitting drivet. So we're trying to feel it low and left, if you like. So we're trying to feel a little bit more that way and hopefully that was a nice You're one. You're going to squeeze it more that way. So it's the more opposite that way shot. to get the feel. So how would you adjust that then now? Show us okay. one last shot, just adjusting that. So I can see, I'm not, I, I always like to go too much. I'd rather go more and then it's easy to sort of, okay, yeah. I can soften that a little bit. So I don't need to feel as much that way. I can soften that, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> as he leans a touch forward. That was well, a great strike, strike. But you can see yeah. that. Interesting, that heel strike, yeah. you've lent a bit forward there, but you definitely take that on the first hole at Pinehurst so number two, wouldn't you? I want to turn it a little bit more right to left. I'm going to go, as we said, if I feel more on my heels now, as I swing, and I'm going to shift it a bit more right to left. Right to left. And more of a toe strike. Interesting. So I should remember that, really, Harry, because <laughs> mine tend to be that way, you know, and I want to feel a little bit. So it's more. always, I like to go extreme, you know, I'm too much, I'm too much inside here, let's say. So, okay, what's the opposite would be that. So the, the move that the, the move that players are looking for is all to do with controlling that shoulder movement, isn't it? Yes, it and is. Controlling that shoulder movement yeah. is gonna really help players Definitely. improve the ball strike in the launch and obviously get more distance out of it as well with That'd the three be. woods. Definitely. Yeah.